run. Big step. Grab. Oh, I got it. Okay. There's a little corn left in here. Oh. Usually there's a step or something down here for me to grab. What? I thought, oh, I'm going to get up there to get out. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. Looks good to me. Huh. Let's see if we got some growth down here too. So we got an inch of rain last night and that allows us to tackle some tasks that uh, we didn't have time for before, like this broken sweep auger that we got in here. Snapped it right off. Is this the one we've always had issues with? What's that? Is this the one that we've always had issues with? Does it keep breaking in the same spot, or? Yeah, I'm just wondering if we take it all apart and fix it right. Well, that's already been attached. We're at? Is that doubled up? Or... Oh, I see what you're saying. How did this bend get water running in it? Um... Gosh, I... I hate grain bins. Okay, I like grain bins, obviously, because they, you know, we store corn and soybeans in them, but I hate working on grain bins. It's like my least favorite thing. Other than washing the old sprayer, but the new sprayer is a lot easier to wash. No pressure. <laughs> Can't have the camera on. <laughs> Yeah, this is, this bin sucks. That was pretty smooth. Probably smoother than what I'm about to do. Here, you hold this because I need both my hands. You're holding that yourself. <laughs> there we go. Shoot. I'm trying to go like. <laughs> so you think we can, we're just going to try and patch it for the day, get it clean? I was going to weld it together, yeah. Okay, we got a, or, yeah, we got a friend and neighbor that has a really nice welding truck, so we're going to go, go grab that from him. Got some LT tanks bouncing around back there, too. It's a forklift. Does he have a stick, or not, uh, does he have a wire feed on there? No. No? Is this a stick welder? It's kind of a stick thing anyways. Ah, okay. What makes it a stick thing versus a wire feed? I'm, well, I'm really dumb when it comes to welding. No. We had it out in the shop, you could turn it around and get that, it at the right angle. Yeah. But you can kind of get at different angles of the stick better. You can bend the rod and get in there. That makes sense. Pick up acquired. Look how nice setup he's got here. He's got a Miller, Miller welder. He's got a torch on here, air compressor. I like it. We got Dad's stepping stool. <laughs> so do you want me to go in? Do you want to hand this to me then? Yes, that'd be great. Okay. That'd be great. No screwdriver or pry bar? No. You want me to go grab one from the shop? Yeah, yeah, okay. I gotta get something in there to... How big of a pry bar you want? A medium sized one. Medium sized. Bring a couple of them. Got it. Pry bar. I'll just grab these two. I don't know what he means by medium. Now, the word medium is kind of one of those things where it, uh, depending on the user, the word medium can mean many different things. So, I, I don't know. You know, one's a little bit more medium, one's a little bit less medium. Huh. 
When you pull on that end, it... It did what? Change the pitch here. Yeah. Try pulling back a little bit more yet. Just, Just a little, little bit. What about that? More. More. <laughs> well, that's part of the problem. It's just it's changing direction when it. You think you can get it good enough to finish this? I don't know. And then take it out and rebuild it completely? Well, there's some big gaps. Mm hmm. Yeah, stick welder, you can fill that in. And the fact that I got a deep sliver from... Well, it's not like you got gloves right there. These don't work as good with gloves on. I've gotten really good at pointing the camera the opposite direction while I'm looking the other way so that way I don't go blind. This lever? Yeah. Move that lever up there. Trying to disengage the auger so that way we can free spin it without turning this. Take some horsepower to turn that. Is it working? Okay, you want me back in or you want me out here? Alright. I'm, I'm getting better at this whole hopping in here thing. Oh, there we go. Look at that. A plus. <laughs> <laughs> this there's a piece of metal that's very slippery it's at a slope right here i don't know what that does but i don't like it i was once reading a thing about how it's so stupid for people to have electronics and grain bins because grain dust explodes It's fine. That looks lovely. Yeah, I'm not gonna win any awards. <laughs> For some reason the flashlight, if you have it like directly on it, you can't see it at the camera, but if you have it a little offset, you can see it. Let it cool a little bit so I do a little. Yep. See, I think I need to make a brace from here to here so that it don't twist. I think that would. Yeah, because if you think about it, there's not much. Yeah, I, I can see that. Here, flashlight again. You can't see what we're talking about. There's this piece of angle bent, what is that, quarter inch? I mean, when you move it, it drastically changes the pitch. Really? Yeah, so maybe just something, I can see that working. It maybe it won't make any difference at all. Well, I did bring you that piece of rebar in. Nah, it's kind of long though. I think there's shorter pieces in there. Let's see if Jeremy has something to back his pickup here I could use as a brace. A little bit too long, but I think it'll work. Yeah, 
anything shorter. I think this will do. Ooh, that smells great. Right there. There we go. Now I just gotta put my safety glasses on here. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I, I got actual safety glasses. I'm not that dumb. Okay, I'm guessing the old Black and Decker stuff is standard. Yeah. Okay, let's just tighten this up a bit. Give it a good old. Oh, come on. Mm. Why can't it be simple? Okay. Tighten that up. This should make it not flop all over the place. At least the part. The blade is all floppy in this one too, which I also don't like, but can't have too nice of things. People start getting suspicious. Oh, what the heck is going on now? There we go. Right there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this is how hot it is yet. Um, I did my best. How is that? Does it work good enough? Yeah. Okay. Um, Chris is stuck, and he told me I need to bring my tractor and two small chain or two long chains. So okay. I'm gonna go grab him. Okay. You got this then? Yeah. Okay. So we have a small sprayer that goes in the back of the Gator. It's like a hundred gallon, and Duroplast or I don't know something like that. It's a sprayer it has like a, a 15 10 15 20 foot boom on it. I honestly don't remember how long it is probably 15 uh, But it also has a hand one and we use it for spraying fence lines So my brother's out spraying fence lines today trying to get rid of some weeds and Sounds like you got stuck now. I I've gotten stuck three times already this year in a gator without a fence line sprayer in the back uh, two times I had to be pulled out and one time I got myself out so it's, yeah, it, it's been kind of common this year. Just unhook this quickly and then start driving it over there. It's not, not a fast ride, so he'll have to sit for a little bit. I love my little planter, but the jack I have for it is an absolutely horrendous, horrendous piece of junk. Blah! Sitting outside in the grow for 30 years probably didn't help it. Okay, got a couple of long chains. Ah, that one's heavy. No, I scratched my rock box. Well, my big unit here tops out at 12 miles per hour. Actually, it's like 12.5. So, he's already been waiting for 20 minutes. He just has to wait a few more. Woo! I can just see the tip of his prey boom it up over the top of the corn. You must be right by the right by the waterway, the drainage creek. Hold on. 
Actually, I'll, I'll shift down a gear. There we go. Okay, hopefully I got enough weight, I don't know. Hold on, I'm gonna go over the bridge. All that's scary going across with this and a planter. It's a lot less scary going across the bridge with this and a planter. Okay, what are you doing? How many gallons you got left? A lot. A lot? Yes. There's water sitting there, Chris. I thought I could make it. <laughs> Once I saw the water, it was too late. I was, <laughs> I was paying attention to the weeds and the fence line. <laughs> There's a lot of water over there. Uh, luckily, you have a brother that has a YouTube channel that can document it all. I get one more picture before we start. Uh, -oh. uh that neutral switch is kind of funky. Because I had the diff lock on. Oh. Well, can you pop the diff lock off and will it move? I don't think it'll just do it like that. You might have to give me you a little might tug. Get a little tug and okay, I'll try. I'll put it in low gear to give you a little tug. Low. Low four, that sounds okay. Turn my diff lock on too. There we go. Okay, shove up to medium. Or middle, I don't know what it is. No problem. Look at that. So this is actually the field that we strip tilled for the first time ever this year, or our first time strip tilling ever was in this field. And so we did a conventional tillage strip, a strip till strip, another conventional tillage strip, and then a strip till strip. And what's amazing is driving by this field, you cannot tell which, you know, where is which trial? Which stuff is strip tilled? Which stuff is, is conventional tilled? Like, you cannot tell. And it is the most dark green and just evenly, cons or consistently even field across the entire thing. It's, it's an absolute joy to drive by. This is a Wiffles 4246 variety. Thank you, Wiffles, for sponsoring the channel and just being an awesome company and making some awesome, awesome seed corn varieties. Uh, they're family farm family owned um, extremely independent and they take a lot of pride in that and they make some amazing stuff it's it's amazing like you know once you get part way through the summer and some seed corn signs start going up on fields it's amazing how many wiffle seed corn signs you see around our area it's just kind of it's kind of taken over so right now i'm walking through where the coon strip tail bar the the coon gladiator uh, was and just look at this corn Beautiful. I'm really impressed with this exact emerges spacing as well. It's pretty dang good. Every once in a while you see one that's not quite perfect, but overall it's very, very, very good spacing. I do believe that we are going to get the uh, the anhydrous bar out here because typically we put on our nitrogen in the fall on top of our be on top of our um, next year's corn ground with anhydrous ammonia. But because we did strip till, we couldn't do that. So with the strip till bar, we put P and K on, and then we dribbled the nitrogen over top uh, with the planter, but you can't quite do enough nitrogen doing that. So we are gonna have to come back here and, and do some side dressing and hydrous on these strips. But I just can't get over how gorgeous this field is. Yep, yes it was. So did, did you t test it and it worked okay? No, I'm going to go pound out the uh, pin is broken too. Okay. Um, this is 
duck was pretty impressive. He went through the standing water. He got stuck on the way out. <laughs> he got stuck on the way out. I don't. I mean, he was he was looking at the weeds, not the where he was going. I, I do the same thing. So. Oh yeah, usually once you get usually once you get in the water, you you never get stuck on stuck in the water. Yeah, it's always before or after. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna put my planter back up so that way it's not sitting in the middle of the yard. And you want my help with that pin? Did you add a planter? I unhooked it. Oh, you mean a big planter? Yeah. No, I haven't done anything. Okay. Probably not a today project. Okay. These stupid bugs are so bad. Take not very long. I did a little video thing out there because that Ceylon farm looks gorgeous. You had to drive all right here. Yeah. But that is the, one of the prettiest looking fields of corn I've ever, I mean, for a fact that we did two different strip tills with conventional tillage in between and two different types of um, application of her fertilizer, it's it, the most it, evenly consistent field I've ever seen. And what's odd, our corn, other field that had so much bean straw are the ones that are yellow and uneven. Yeah. But that one we had a lot of bean straw there too between the strip till. Yeah, well, but the, 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 the strips were empty though. No, but I mean the others do the... Oh, you're seeing the conventional tillage had a lot of bean straw. It 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 looks so consistent across the entire field. It just I'm I'm amazed. I always say ours look worse this time of year, but anyways, we get yield. But yeah, no, I, it looks good. And maybe that'll be the thing where you know the good looking field now looks <laughs> your worst performer. I don't know. I, I don't know. I yeah. I, uh, I found the dead rat in the middle of the. <laughs> Green bin and I threw it out trying to avoid everything and it landed on my pile of tools. <laughs> uh, what do we need to do? I found out there's a bolt that goes through here that sheared off. Okay. And it's not lining up at all. Huh. It's probably there's a gap in there when I welded it. So, I can't get it to move. So, it might just run it the way it is. Okay. Well, if we can get this empty, we're gonna have to take it out anyways, because this thing's kind of screwed up in many ways. I couldn't figure out what kind of deal this is. There was a set screw down there. So that's why there was a gap when I welded it. So now. Okay, well, we're probably going to start it. You are going to start it? Yeah, see what happens. Okay. Hopefully, it makes it around without taking out the gear box, I guess. Okay. From here to there, right, from there to there. Not what? Morning. What? I'm not gonna run until morning. Not gonna run until morning? There's a bunch of legs. The leg pit has water in it. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna get it drained tonight and make sure it's. Yep. All the water gets out of it. That makes sense. I don't wanna clean spouts to you. No, I, I don't. I agree. Oh, that's your dead rat? That pet? That's a, that's a big rat. Yeah, well, he's. They get bigger when they flatten out. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.